So, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. This year's been pretty stale for me in game releases. There hasn't been a game that's come out where I have really felt that classic, almost addiction that I so love with new games where you just can't stop playing it. So, as many of you know, I, I placed my faith in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And the game's now out. I have played the campaign. The campaign's excellent. I thought it was a, a good experience. Quite dark, which I'm a fan of. The spec ops, while extremely difficult and chaotic, that's kind of why I like it. I like a good chaotic challenge to, together with friends. The multiplayer is well made. I, I do like the, the customization with the weapons. I don't like the maps, and that's a big reason why I'm not really enjoying the game as much as I had hoped. The maps are not fun. The last two maps that they released just a few days ago, I think are better, and it's in the, a step in the right direction, but it's not quite there yet. I made a video before the game released where I presented an analogy about a frog that, you know what, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna say it again. For those who haven't seen it, basically is the game good. Has the frog said hello? And uh, no, the frog hasn't said hello to me yet. He hasn't ribbited either. The frog hasn't said anything. I'm still waiting. I think that a couple of months down the line, if they add in some classic Call of Duty maps and some maps that are actually fun to play on, the frog might say hello. Now that verdict's not here yet. However, something I am sure of is that 2019, to me, does not belong to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Planet Zoo is my game for 2019. This is my favorite game this year. And the year's not even over yet, but I'm already sure. I already know that this is my game. What can I say about Planet Zoo? There's just so much. There's so much. Let's start with some history. When I was a kid, I played a ton of Roller Coaster Tycoon and Zoo Tycoon. I would spend days playing these games. And up until Planet Zoo released, I had kind of lost that creative side of me. Come Tuesday, the 5th of November, I sit down to try out this new game that I've been kind of keeping an eye on, but not really expecting a whole lot. What I didn't know when I sat down to play it was, I wouldn't get up for another nine hours. So what I would like to spend the rest of the video doing is present to you guys my zoo and some of the challenges that we've gone through building it. I started my journey with a couple of warthogs. We're gonna get some warthogs, just to keep it nice and simple. All of this for two <laughs> warthogs. Holy shit, that is disgusting. What is your problem? Why are you guys... You guys are so mean about my fucking... I have people calling out my enclosure for being a square. I got you guys fucking grilling my pillars. You're shitting on my staff buildings. Like, I'm just getting started. Like, this is my first zoo. My first enclosure. Ah, oh, you fucking wank stains, honestly. After what started with quite the basic design, I moved on to the Komodo dragon enclosure right by the entrance. Opposite to that, the saltwater crocodile lake with a bridge running over it. Slowly but surely, as I dove into the game, I discovered the depth that it truly had with the amount of different features that you have to keep an eye on. I started playing around with the ticket prices, started looking into researching new items, until eventually, I was broke. I need to take another loan. <laughs> I need to take another loan. I'm gonna take the $50,000 loan and build the most amazing zoo. I'm gonna get three more enclosures. I'm gonna spend it all on enclosures. It's all or nothing, you know? I need to go business here. I, I need to go full business. We're gonna pause and we're gonna play and all of a sudden, money time. You gotta borrow money to make money. <laughs> I got a couple of grizzly bears to start things off and I took on the challenge of creating a cave. It's humongous! It looked like absolute trash at first, but slowly but surely, I found my way and I ended up with my most beautiful enclosure yet. From there, I threw in a couple of rhinos at the side of the park and I ended the day back in profit. I was only getting started though. And then this needs to now smoothen. 
This is okay. This is gonna be tough for me to to make this look natural. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know really what I'm doing here. Lemur Hill. I started off day two spending three hours making this bad boy. I found out that lemurs are okay with guests walking through their enclosure, so I created a nice path walking up along this hill, and then finished it off with a beautiful waterfall. You know what this looks like? <laughs> because of the hole. It looks like two legs. <laughs> And someone's bending over. Not only was my childlike creativity coming back, but also my childhood humor. Look at how many there are of these. Maybe I get a bunch of these. What are these? Japanese macaque. Macaques. Macaque. Macaques? Okay. Alright, it's time for the Japanese macaques. What are the macaques? Macaques. What do they need? You're kind of just going to be visiting the uh, macaques. And we're going to start here with some Japanese macaques. Macaques. Uh, this is for the macaque, for the person asked. Ma macaque. Oh, these aren't lemurs. You're right. What are these? Ma. Mac. Are you having fun? Yeah. I'm going to play something else in a little while. I can't just do zoo for two days in a row. I'm gonna trip play something else in a little while. As I was finally finished with my lemur hill and my new... Listen, Twitch chat has been... I haven't looked up how to pronounce it and Twitch chat keeps telling me different. I'm gonna go with macaques for now. Uh, I finished my Japanese macaques and uh, and moved on to refreshing the zoo a little bit. I moved my rhinoceroses over to uh, under this bridge that I've placed here and uh, and I came in with some flamingos. I ended off day two with my second economic crash. I lost just about $40,000 in half an hour. The mistake I made was I trained all of my staff to get them to be better at their jobs and all of their training finished at the same time. What this led to was a massive increase in all of their wages. To fix this, I fired a ton of my staff and I rehired some beginners for a much cheaper wage. My second day of running this zoo had come to an end. The next day I started off by decorating a new shopping center. From there I moved on and I got a couple of Siberian tigers and I came with my proudest enclosure yet. To celebrate, I decided to have some fun. I put on some epic music and dropped some innocent animals into my tiger enclosure. Hold up. Oh yeah, I found him. Okay, he's just chilling. <laughs> Broken barrier, animals have escaped. What's happening? <laughs> oh no, kill the mechanic. The bears! <laughs> the bears have escaped! It's fine, they're staying in. No, the little one! <laughs> Yo, have I, oh my god, they're roaming the streets. Okay, no, 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 where's the big one? Yo. There we go. The small one, I don't think we need an emergency capture, we'll just call it vet. Vet en route, perfect. Are we, are we fixing this? Mechanic being requested. Excuse you. Where are you going? Here we go. <laughs> There's something about having epic music. No, what are you doing? We're okay. We, we missed it! It's 
a battle royale? I move the wall! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have a bit of a battle royale. And the hunt begins. Oh, run, little baby. <laughs> Here comes another one. <laughs> He's so happy. I got back to working on my zoo, and by the end of this session, I'd been playing Planet Zoo for 20 hours the last couple of days. At this point, my life revolves around Planet Zoo, and my mind is deteriorating. Wait, what's wrong with me? Why can't I imagine a panda? What's a panda? Holy shit. I can't imagine what a panda is. Yeah, panda. Okay, listen, I know that they're not... I know, I know that they're not... Uh, I know that pandas aren't... But then what's a koala? Unless I wait with them and I, I make like a bear, so we got Monkey Mountain, and then you've got Bear... Bear Boulevard. My biggest project ret- Ret? My biggest project yet was about to start. Monkey Mountain, soon to be called Ape Valley, Primate Peak, and finally simply Africa. As I slowly realized that most of the animals I was to put in this mountain were not monkeys. I spent a few hours of converting what started off as quite a large turd into something that I'd like to think resembles a mountain. I was finished with what I thought would be a very successful chapter in my zoo. But what I didn't realize at the time was this may very well be the beginning of the end. Africa now has gorillas, bonobos, and mandrills, but it's not enough. I don't have enough people coming in with a train to check out my Africa area. And at this point, I'm running low on money. I've got a ton of expenses coming out of this place, with staff, food, and power being run 24-7. Having faced an economic crisis like this before, I have a plan. I get a backup save in case it doesn't work out, and I get a $50,000 loan. And I add a safari ride. This actually worked. I had hundreds of visitors coming over by train to check out my new area. Even on top of the loan payments that I had to come back with, I was pulling in a profit. Everything was working out. There was just one problem. My game glitched. Look at where trains have- Oh, what the hell? The train leaves with no one on it! Wait, hold on, something's not right here. The train just left empty! Why? <laughs> Why? What- <laughs> What is wrong? <laughs> Holy shit, this is going well. Okay, let's up the price a little bit. Wait, what? <laughs> We're just going round and round. That's, I mean, the whole time I'm thinking, man, this is, <laughs> man, this is popular. <laughs> this is going really well. People just, I've never not seen this place full. Okay, they're not leaving. They're not leaving. At this point, I'm just doing things I've already tried. Let's try this. And because I did that, nobody leaves! Nobody gets off the train if I do that! I just can't! I can't! Ha <laughs> ha! It's not bringing in any money, and I'm just losing money. And all the money I used up from the loan on this fucking stupid broken shit. And so now, now I've got a loan I'm paying off. But if this doesn't fucking work, then I'm not making any money. I'm not making any money. I'm not making any money. Huh? 
<laughs> okay, so. <laughs> I quit. I'm done. I have to try again. I have to just look. And that right there is an addicted man. Despite a couple of glitches here and there throughout the playthrough, and this zoo-breaking glitch that I faced here in the end, I can still highly recommend this game. I haven't been this invested in a game in so long. I am really enjoying myself playing this, and that's lovely. I'm gonna save my zoo. I'm gonna load up that backup save. I'm gonna close down Africa for the time being, and I'm gonna build up my economy again. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you stop by the stream while I'm playing this game, or any other for that matter. Otherwise, I'll just see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone.